Hi everyone. So today I'm going to talk about inner work and meditation. So very often when we do yoga or meditation, uh, you might find that if you're sensitive enough, you might find that uh, emotions might come up. Like for example, certain poses, like the pigeon pose, is said to <laughs> cause people to suddenly cry. Meaning, um, there is an emotional energy in the body that is being released. Sometimes, maybe during Sabasana, of course, we also encounter uh, emotional moments like that, like when a certain event happens, a certain movie scene, a certain story that we watch, or certain things that people tell us that suddenly triggers us. And when we get triggered, we seem to overreact in a way that um, other people might find a bit odd and maybe that reaction might seem unfair uh, to the person receiving it or uh, overreactive like for example a person gets overly angry uh, when being confronted maybe during a car accident a person comes out of their car like how we see uh, cases of people holding a handbrake wanting to hit someone or maybe you simply can't stop arguing with your friend, your family, your spouse, your children and they seem to keep irritating you and no matter what they do it just doesn't seem like enough or they can never seem to get it right so a lot of the times when you find yourself overreactive, over emotional most of the time it is a sign that you have an emotional trigger there now some of us, uh, especially ladies, we might attribute those emotional triggers to our menstruation cycles, PMS as they call it, that you become overly emotional and angry. Sometimes some of us might relate it even to the full moon. Now while all these are not untrue, but it is not that these events, the surging of your hormones or the gravitational pull of an object in our solar system causes us to become irrational. But it's more that there is something there for it to be pulled. Meaning, you have a trigger. Like for example, why does the sea rise during the full moon? Well, because it is water, it is substance. So there is a substance within you that is being pulled and it's rising. Uh, so what we're carrying is uh, what we can call a negative energy or emotional baggage. If you become sensitive uh, when you start to do deep meditation, for example if you uh, practice vipassana, you start to observe that uh, your body might have areas where it is clear, it is bright and light, you know, it's like the sunshine it comes through. And then there are areas where it is tight and holding certain amount of heavy, uh, dark, cloudy, smoky, anything, <clears throat> any kind of uh, that constitute to us what you can call a negative energy. Eckhart Tolle uh, calls this the pain body as well. So pain body is something that is made up of uh, your emotional energy or emotional baggage. Very often it is yourself but sometimes it is also collective meaning it is uh, ancestral from memories from your ancestors that came that is passed through you. You know, it is scientifically proven that you carry genes of stress if you're, and uh, trauma from your ancestors, if that is what they have gone through. So we carry those genes and memories, and also environmental pain body. Right? If your community has suffered a great loss, even though it, maybe it's not your generation, maybe it's your parents' generation, or maybe uh, 
just the people that you live nearby, you will sense that your body picks it up, right? And also the collective energy of the earth, right? Right now, there's a lot of negativity going on, and and people who are tuned in to their body, they will sense that. So this pain body, the only way to deal with it is to release it or transmute it, meaning it can be let go, it can come out from your body. What are the some of the ways? Mm, one, one of the ways that I more recently uh, practice is the wall releasing and also uh, through meditation. So the difference between Lin Wall releasing it and silent meditation is one, you use words to release. But in meditation, you simply observe it and you maintain a calm demeanor. You observe it until it is dissolved or transmuted. Sometimes certain activities can help you release. For example, uh, shouting dancing, doing yoga, or writing and making art, uh, it can let go, but it may or may not transmute that energy. But at least it can release whatever that you're holding in that moment. So today what I want to encourage you is that um, the next time you practice silent meditation or do yoga or any, any activity, any moment that you find that you're being emotionally triggered, observe this. Observe your body, the feeling inside of it. If there's an emotion arising, observe it. You might perceive it as uh, in visual form, like maybe you can perceive a cloud of energy rising, or you can feel a certain tightness in your muscles, or you might hear it in terms of words in your mind that, that you are about to get really emotionally triggered. Find that place of calmness, that center. Anchor yourself. Observe your breath. Find that space of calmness. Know that nothing matters in the end of the day. That everything will be fine. That everything will change. That it is okay. Allow yourself to feel it. Acknowledge that this is how you feel right now. Observe the sensation and accept that this is what you're going through. Try to forgive. Forgive yourself for feeling the way you feel. If there's a memory that you feel guilty about, forgive yourself for doing what you did. Try to forgive others for doing what they did. But don't force. Come from a place of allowing and accepting. and let it pass. Sometimes these uh, can trigger you to cry or want to scream or want to hit someone. Don't hit someone. <laughs> hit something. Maybe a soft 
surface, pillow, so that that energy can be let go of your body. But don't direct it to a specific person. Know that this is something old in you. It is most likely not triggered by the current situation, but rather an accumulation of lots of happenings over the years, of certain beliefs that has been uh, distorted. You can journal those thoughts and emotions in a booklet if you like. Sometimes you will feel really tired after that kind of emotional release. So do take a nap. Or sometimes you feel uncomfortable in your body. Take a shower. Take a salt scrub bath. <laughs> I, which is why I like to do salt scrub bath. Because it helps to neutralize this kind of uh, energy that's being released as well. Take a walk in nature. Go for an exercise you find that you feel a lot better after. Now, I hope you find this uh, video useful. Remember, if you need additional help, if you find that you are triggered beyond your self-control, do seek out help from a professional counsellor or psychotherapist. There are lots of um, therapists out there some who might be able to provide you with a discounted or free service if it is sponsored like the Befrienders for example it's a charity organization or talk to someone that you trust you are not alone you can feel better I wish you love, light, peace and happiness Thank you and see you again soon. Namaste.